All right, another day, another thing. So working today on, let's see right there, the alternator. Uh, so quick update on that. Alternator seems to be getting worse. Uh, ordered a new one and uh, it is currently in the UK and it's waiting to be released. So it can be shipped overseas. Um, don't know when it's gonna get released. It's been sitting at the uh, clearing place for like, I don't know, probably four or five days now. And I need to get an alternator soon rather than later. So goal for today is actually to take that out completely, uh, the old alternator, clean up all the connections I can as best as I can, try and see if I can make do with it, see if it might just be a connection issue, and then uh, put it back in and see if we get anything better. Because over the weekend, it's been okay, um, charging over here and there, and then driving the past couple of days to work, it's been off and on. So I really feel like there's a connection issue there because it's not consistent by any means. So I'm gonna try that, so I'm gonna take it apart. All right, so there's some good, bad, and ugly. So um, for starts, cleaned up my battery connections really quick. Um, I went in and just sprayed them with some electrical cleaner. Um, got some some rough spots on the uh, positive terminal that could use some cleaning. So I just separated that out real quick and cleaned it. This connection, which I believe is the positive, um, pretty messed up. I cannot get that nut off here. Uh, let's see if we'll refocus. I can't get this nut off here. It is completely ruined and stuck. Um, same with that bottom one and this won't even turn. So my guess is that this is where the problem is. So I cleaned it up as best I can, trying to give it a good connection and it's just not, I can't get that bolt off. Let me phrase that, I can get that bolt off. It's taking that whole piece off with it. Cause if I twist that, this whole thing starts turning. So not good, I actually probably, yeah, no. Um, what I did do, this was a little loose, so I tightened that up and this connection was a little loose, so I tightened that up. And I also realized that there's a wire right here. I didn't even know that. So um, no idea what that's for at all. And uh, I'm gonna clean that one up too. So this looks a little bit better just cause I brushed it up with a steel brush. Um, but still what my concern is, is the physical connection here. That concerns me. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Um, like I said, I'm gonna clean this up real quick and I'm gonna button it back up. And then uh, I'll find out tomorrow after uh, my drive home from work, see if anything did anything or if it's just a waste of time, but we'll find out. But I'm not gonna take that off until I get the new alternator in, because if that doesn't go back on, then I'm screwed and the truck's parked until then. I need to get to work, so. It is update time. Um, just woke up from a nap, so I'm freaking tired. But I got some good news. Uh, still no alternator, waiting for that to come in. Supposedly it's in Germany right now, so there's no progress on the uh, truck's running quality right now. Um, but I do have a few things that I have gotten in, um, that I've ordered, um, kind of for camping and stuff. So first things first, rooftop tent. Um, so I got this in yesterday. It's, uh, the Smitty built rooftop tent. Um, pretty excited about this. I've been wanting a rooftop tent for a very, very long time. Uh, and I finally got one. So I got that. We also ordered a gazelle screen room uh, pop-up tent. So we have that to, to do, uh, have for our camping area. And then uh, a few other kind of miscellaneous stuff that we got. But pretty excited. This is a pretty big deal. Um, it'll be going up on the Discovery, um, up on the roof rack. I'm not entirely sure how yet. So that'll be kind of a work in progress. But today I'm going to unbox it and uh, check it out and see what it's all about. So. Uh, weather's starting to turn a little bit, so I packed the rooftop tent back up and uh, put it in the uh, sunroom for now. So I didn't mount it on the truck. Uh, so I didn't mount it on the truck yet. Uh, but everything looks like it should fit up pretty well. So it's just a matter of figuring out how we want to set it up on the truck with the back side of the roof rack. Uh, but weather's starting to turn, so I kind of put it up for today. I'm not in any rush to get this set up on the truck either. Oh, come on. So we're not in any rush. Ooh. So we're not in any rush to get it set up on the truck, anyways. So it's unboxed. Uh, it's perfect. We unfolded it really quick and just kind of laid in it to see um, size-wise how it will look and stuff. And it is. I think it's gonna be perfect. So now it's a matter of setting it up on the river and uh, going from there. Um, that's gonna be it for today. 
So hopefully I have an alternator in the next couple of days. So we can uh, complete that part and then get into mounting the sucker. So, good stuff. Uh, another thing I'm working on. So you can see I got the boot lever uh, moved out of the transmission. And uh, as I said before, um, my reverse lights don't work. And that's because that little thing right here, um, for one, you'll notice it's missing an L bracket on there for the uh, uh, cables to hook up to. Uh, one of the reasons being that is because it's sitting right here. It broke off. So I need to solder that back on um, before I can actually hook it back up. But the reverse lights were not turning off. So I actually unplugged my lights and see here I have the two cables for that. So to fix not having reverse lights right now, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to run a wire extension from here into one of these holes here, if I can get it to him. And then I'm going to run a switch to him. But to do that first, I'm gonna make sure that that will work because these wires are way too short. Um, and I do not have a soldering iron right now. I should really get one. But the problem is too, is that that wire or that connector is not working. So if I were to put it in reverse and take it out of reverse, it's not staying in, or it's not turning the lights on and off like it should. So my guess is just like a button in there that activates that button in there and all that good stuff. And I can probably actually see here. Oh, there. Actually, it makes more sense. So if I were to go into sorry, reverse, it should. Okay, that's and this is making it really hard, this being the way. Reverse, it should hit that button. And, and that button, I believe, is what activates that indicator. So for the longest time, that button was almost, seemed like it was stuck in. And I was able to just activate reverse without any effort but now I have to hit it again in order to activate it and you can hear it actually just disengage so if I pull this over and that pin is having a hard time disengaging let's see if I can get a clip of that doing it so over reverse But it's just so much grime and it's just old. So it's just sticking. So. See, it's just sticking. There it goes, popping out. So I wonder if I hit that with a little bit of grease or some WD 40 if that'll free up or what causes that. So, and it probably just needs to rebuild. But if it gets stuck, then I'll be able to turn it on and off using. Switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably run that wire currently and then so that way if I ever need to throw a reverse light on I'll be able to do that. Alright so I got a temporary mock-up really quick. See they're connected down hinder right now. Um, truck half on no lights and then we flip the switch and I have reverse lights again. So that is just a temporary setup for right now. Like I said, until I can solder that L piece back on, the L bracket, whatever it's called. So I'm gonna disconnect these wires really quick here and I'm gonna run them through one of these. And then I have a plate to uh, stick over top of this, I think. I might, I don't know. I might just kind of let it hang out for right now. And uh, see how that goes. That's the plan.